Hello everybody, myself Dr. Shukmar Pisurapur, Associate Professor, Department of Studies in Education and Deputy Registrar Evaluation, Karnataka State Akkamadevi Women's University, Vijayapura. Today we shall discuss Women Achievers in Science and their Challenges. So, what are the objectives of the topic? To know Women Achievers in Science to know the challenges ahead of women science achievers. Let us take Anandi Bai Joshi. She was one of the first Indian women doctor to learn and practice Western medicine at the age of 21. She went abroad to study medicine in Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania in 1986. She returned to India to become physician in charge of the female ward at the local Albert Edward Hospital in Kolhapur. So I repeat, she was one of the first Indian women doctor to learn and practice Western medicine at the age of 21. She went abroad to study medicine in Women's Medical College of Pennsylvania in 1986. She returned to India to become physician in charge of the female ward at the local Albert Edward Hospital in Kolhapur. Next, Janaki Ammal. Janaki Ammal is the uh, 1900 took up botany and later pursued scientific research in cytogenetic and phytogeography. She worked in the UK and returned to India to serve as reputed post of the Director General of the Botanical Survey of India. I mean, uh, Janaki Amal took botany in the 1900 and later pursued scientific research in cytogenetic and phytogeography. She served as Director General of the Botanical Survey of India. Asima Chatterjee Asima Chatterjee earned respect for her work as chemist in organic chemistry and phytochemistry, which studies chemicals we get from plants. She is known for her research on vinco alkaloids and the development of anti epileptic and anti malarial drugs. Sunitra Gupta Sunitra Gupta is a woman of many talents. She is a novelist as well as a professor of theoretical epidemiology at the University of Oxford. Her field of interest is research in infectious diseases like flu and malaria using mathematical models. Sunitra earned the Royal Society Rosalind Franklin Award for her valuable scientific research. Dr. Indra Hinduja. Dr. Indra Hinduja, a gynecologist, infertility specialist from Mumbai, delivered India's first test tube baby and introduced the gamete intrafalopine transfer. Aditi Pant, the first Indian woman to visit the frozen Antarctica in 1983. Dr. Aditi Pant is a reputed oceanographer. Dr. Suman Sahai, founder of Gene Campaign in India, which works to better food, nutrition, and livelihoods. She has received the Padma Sri for her efforts. Darshan Ranganathan. She was an organic chemist who made progress in protein foldings, supramolecular assemblies, molecular design, chemical simulation of key biological processes to name a few. Charasita Chakravarti She studied the basis of molecules and effects of change in molecular base on DNA proteins which won her the Shanti Swarup Patnagar Prize. Yamuna Krishnan Yamuna Krishnan works in the fields of bio 
nanotechnology and makes experimental machines out of DNA. She was awarded the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize in 2013. Shobha Tole A recipient of the Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize, Shobha Tole studies genetic mechanisms to understand genetic defects such as autism and epilepsy. Pradna Sharma At just 29, the assistant professor at the Indian Institute of Science was on the Forbes 30 under 30 India list which includes people who are doing commendable work in their professional fields. She studied soft condensed matter like colloids, emulsions and suffertants. She was part of a team which made great headway in two-dimensional physics. S.C. Thomas, a recipient of Lal Bahadur Shastri National Award, S.C. Thomas was the project director behind the launch of Agni 4 missiles. Usha Bharwale Jahar, one of the most talented researcher in botany, she is the joint director of research at Maharashtra Hybrid Seeds Company Limited in Jalna. She produced India's first genetically modified food, the Bit Brinja. That is the BT Brinja. Her work gained recognition in 2000 for her efforts in producing genetically modified food. Paramjit Khurana. Paramjit Khurana has developed hybrid strains of mulberry, wheat, and rice, which withstand drought and high heat to help farmers who depend on weather. Challenges facing women in science. Number one, inherent gender bias, stereotype, should not pursue careers in science. Number two, discouragement at a young age, equal at elementary, middle school and high school, girls are not encouraged. Number three, the confidence gap. From elementary to professional, often lack confidence. It is there in the Times of India, March 13, 2010, page number 6. Fourth one, lack of role models. A lack of encouragement due to scarcity of role model. Number five, fewer women in graduate school. Lack of scholarship and encouragement from academicians. Number six, the leaky pipeline need to spend postdoc in other cities what about family and motherhood that's why the they are always faced with challenges i mean the questions are ahead in front of them uh, as the leaky pipeline number seven family life versus research balancing career with motherhood is a challenging uh, for all our beloved uh, Scientist. Number eight, fewer tenure track positions, less paid, that is dollar four thousand than men's in America, leads to fewer men professors in what? Number nine, less funding even at the higher levels, top levels of scientific study, less support for their research, less funding, and less office support. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you.